Ember's teacher texted me from school and said she just threw up. Poor girl, she's wearing a mask. We got Miss Emmy back there with her new clean mask on. And I feel like I need to go comfort her, but I'm like a little bit scared that like, what if it is the Rona? So I'm thinking like, do I send her or do I just err on the side of caution and keep her home? Good morning, MTM fam. Welcome to the vlog today. I'm in a little bit of a rush this morning because I was just hopping out of the shower, getting dressed, and Ember's teacher texted me from school and said she just threw up. Poor girl, she's wearing a mask, and she threw up. Breaks my heart. She did tell me she didn't feel good this morning, but I thought she was faking sick because she said, I wanna stay home and I wanna watch electronics. <laughs> and I was like, oh no, 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 if you're sick and you're staying home, you're gonna lay in your bed and rest. And she was like, no, I just wanna watch electronics today. So I was like, no, you gotta go to school, you're fine. And then I feel so, so bad. So I'm running over there to get her right now. You really were sick. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't believe you. Are you feeling better now? Should we go home and rest? Mm -hmm. Are you upset? I'm sorry. Come on, let's go get in the car. All right, we just got in the car. We got Miss Emmy back there with her new clean mask on. It doesn't have throw up in it. <laughs> and she said, well, I'm feeling better now. Oh, bless her little heart. I feel really bad. Okay, Ember's home from school. And I feel like I need to go comfort her, but I'm like a little bit scared that like, what if it is the Rona? So I'm gonna go snuggle her, but I'm putting on some gloves and a mask, and I'm just gonna go comfort her, make sure she's doing okay. This is so weird. Let's go check on her. How are you doing, love bug? Good. You just coloring in your room? Mm -hmm. Are you feeling so much better? Okay, let's take your clothes off since you were wearing that when you were sick, okay? All right, Miss Emmy Bear is she showered off, she got in some pajamas, and she is taking a nap now, which is good. Um, I want her just to rest as much as she can, get this little bug out of her system. I went in her room and she was curled up in a tiny ball with this little blanket on her. Ugh. I feel really bad that I don't feel like I can go cuddle her and love her the way that she needs to be when she doesn't feel good. But until I know that it's just until I know what it is, I don't know, it's so hard because if she has COVID and then Derek's working right now, if I'm taking care of her really closely, then I don't know what to do about the other kids. I don't want to risk getting them sick. I don't know, it's just this fine line. So right now I'm just kind of watching her. She seemed good. She hasn't had anything else happen. She's just resting, which is exactly what we need to have happening. So. We're just gonna put all the positive vibes out there. She's getting better, right? All right, MTM fam, we have just been taking, oh, there's a hair in my mouth. Okay, sorry about that. We have just been taking it easy today, kind of laying low, just making sure that no, kind of on symptom watch, I guess you could say, making sure that nobody else is feeling sick. Everyone's been good, Ember's been good, but I'm still making her kind of quarantine to her room for about 24 hours, so. She's in her room. I told her she could eat her dinner in her room, which she was very excited about. Okay, why don't you eat on your little table so that you don't spill? Can you take that little thing off? Good job. How are you feeling? Give us a thumbs up or thumbs down. Thumbs up? Oh yeah, okay. All right, here's your sandwich. Why don't you sit down and eat and I'll get, bring you a drink too. Does that sound good? Yeah. Are you feeling lonely in here all by yourself or are you good? Oh, well, tomorrow morning we'll get to snuggle and play, okay? All right, the kids have eaten their dinner. Ember ate all her food and she's keeping it down so far. She's still in the room, but these kids for some reason are coloring on paper plates because that seems like a really good use of paper plates. Jensen is actually skateboarding around. Go buddy, go buddy, go, go, go buddy. And these kids are coloring, so. Mom, how many days are till Christmas? 
Until Christmas. How many days until Christmas? Yeah. They just asked me that and I was like, I don't know, I'm not Alexa. Do they think I'm a genius or something? Alexa, how many days until Christmas? <laughs> how many days until Christmas? 38 days until then, Brielle. All right. There you go. I should have, what I should have done is when she asked me, I should have asked my phone secretly and then told her so that she would keep thinking that I am a genius to know stuff like that. Like how many days until Christmas? 38 days, people, 38 days. That means you gotta be on your best behavior, especially you, or Santa's not gonna bring you one present. He's gonna bring you a big lump of coal, okay? All right, friends. Derek just got home from work. Well, actually, he's been home from work. I accidentally fell asleep while he was laying with Jay. You guys, something's wrong with me. I'm tired all the time. So tired, I just wanna sleep for like at least eight hours straight. Just kidding. Okay, so all the kids are in bed. Ember seemed pretty good. She was perking up later tonight, kind of wanting to come out of the room. We didn't let her, but she definitely, she ate her food, no problem. So I'm gonna go check on her, make sure she's cozied in her bed. And we're just really, really hoping that that was it. And I just am still feeling so terrible that this morning she 100% told me she didn't feel good and I thought she was faking. I literally was like, she's fine. She said, I just wanna stay home from school and watch electronics. I mean, you can't blame me, right? Oh, I am having a little bit of mom guilt about it though. All right, she looks like she's feeling good. I'm just gonna really hope that she's the only one. It's so weird, this is a really hard thing about corona right now is if this was any other time, like any other time, if she didn't feel good, I'd just be like, oh, it's just a little stomach bug, she'll be good. But because of the time it is, because of everything else that's going on, it just gives you like this other, this other little whisper of like, but what if, what if it's not that? What if it's something else? And it's, it's hard because you don't know what to do. Like, I don't know. Okay, she hasn't been sick. Tomorrow, by the time school starts, she won't have it, but at 10 o'clock in the morning, she won't have had anything happen for like 24 hours. So technically, if you're 24 hours without symptoms, you can like go back to school. So I'm thinking like, do I send her or do I just err on the side of caution and keep her home? It's just now, should I be on watch for everyone else for these, for symptoms? I don't know. It's just a really strange time. And I feel like I feel that way, not just, with stuff like this, it's like if you feel a little tickle in your throat, you're just like, oh my gosh, do I have something? I don't know, I just feel like this weird germ climate worry about corona is turning us all into to germaphobes, to, to hypochondriacs. Does anybody else feel that way? Oh, am I the only one that's worrying about every little cough and everything and sniffle? Anyway, all right, I am gonna try to get some sleep so that we can all stay healthy, that's the goal. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Be sure to like and subscribe. You guys stay healthy too. We love you guys. We'll see you back here tomorrow.